Is PC the holy grail for gaming? Is console the holy grail for gaming? Man, there's a lot of different opinions out there when it comes to just those two things. Consoles are good for one thing, PCs are good for another, but guess what? They all play games and that's all I really care about. But just to humor these conversations that's been going on in these podcasts for the last couple of weeks and just my thoughts in general, let's dive into it and I'll let you know what I think. Let's go. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It definitely truly helps out the channel a lot. And before we get started, go down into the comment section and make sure you let me know what was your thoughts on the first time you heard about this whole PC versus Xbox versus PlayStation conversation. Are you one of those people that are truly down for the PC? Are you one of those people that's like, man, console for me and I'm gonna stick on that until I die or until consoles are no longer a valuable thing and I'm going over to PC then. Definitely wanna hear what you guys got to say about that. This really isn't gonna be that long of a video. It's mostly just gonna be my opinions about why I like PC as much as I like it, but why I struggle sometimes to stay and be consistently playing on PC. Now, as you guys know, I play a lot of PC. I jump a lot between PC and Xbox. Not so much on my PlayStation because I really play PlayStation games when um, it's actual PlayStation games out. All my third party stuff for the most part happens on the Xbox um, One X. So I am super excited to what this next generation can bring with the archetype that we're getting in these new platforms with the bigger CPUs, the oversized graphics, and just all the RAM and memory that we're gonna have. It just screams that we're gonna have a way better experience next generation than we had, you know, in any generation up to this. But it really just comes down to developers. I'm not gonna hold one developer's feet to the fire for just basically coming out saying that their game's gonna run at 30 frames per second, looking at you, Assassin's Creed, looking at you. You never know. They could change that. It could be a scenario where we actually do get a performance mode in that game. So I'm just gonna wait until the game actually releases or until they officially come out and say something else and we'll just have a conversation on it then. But I am looking forward to what this next generation brings because I miss playing with my friends. That's the main reason I play on console as much as I do. The games are just games at this point. The games are a vehicle to enjoy games with the people that you enjoy games with, your friends. That's why you see so many people jump ship to go from console to console because maybe their friends are on a different platform and they want to play with those people. People just want to enjoy the games they want with the people they want. And that is honestly the number one reason why you should pick a system and pick a platform that is right for you based on the experiences you have with other people. Now, if you're a lone woofer and you play games by yourself, by all means, get the system that's right for you and the games that you like to play. But for everybody, else don't let other people make decisions for you this is a decision that you have to live with throughout the next generation pc is a great option it gives you the ability to unlock the potential of every game that you put in customization through the wazoo it's a way of life on pc you just want to get even more power you want to squeak out those extra frames on your pc but there's a downside to that though it also comes down to being a little bit more expensive. Gaming already in itself is a very expensive hobby, but PCs have so much overhead that the price of entry can kind of be daunting compared to a console. And that's why consoles will always more than likely be the way to go for most people. I always tell people, yeah, man, you're going to enjoy what's going to happen in the next generation because PCs are already seeing that stuff. But consoles, man, consoles always have a leg up in my eyes, just because most of us fostered our friendships from that. And unless your friends are willing to jump shit with you and come to PC, it's kind of hard just to leave all of those friends behind to go make potential new friends on a a platform that you're brand spanking new to. On top of that, you know, there's cheating everywhere. It's it's way more prevalent on PC. I mean, they do have certain protections in place for certain developers and certain launchers and games, but not every game has them and not every business takes them as serious as others. And that is something that's very disheartening that's on PC too. So 
I'm not here to scare anybody off PC. I just kind of want to set the record a little straight. I talk a lot about PC and how great it is and how awesome it is. And it truly is that it is awesome. But consoles, consoles ain't nothing to be played with. They are here to stay and they're going to make a lot of people happy this holiday, especially when they get a chance to visually see and feel what PC gamers have been feeling for over the last 20 to 30 years. And that's no joke. So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how that's going to play out over the next generation. I'm waiting for Microsoft to finally release that price of this next system. PlayStation don't know what they're going to do, man. I think it's going to get delayed, honestly. But if you guys want me to make a video about why I think PlayStation is going to get delayed, leave a comment down below, say PlayStation get delayed, what you think, and I will surely make a video around that. Outside of that, guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, it was going to be really short. I mean, seven minutes isn't short but it ain't 10 minutes because youtube ain't giving no extra money if it's under 10 minutes so i'm pretty much out of stuff to say but i appreciate you guys watching this video so much love on the last two videos man it's been very very appreciated i love it keep it coming man it keeps me energized to keep me making these videos that's all i got to say man you guys have a great day i hope you enjoyed your memorial day extended weekend be safe out there and be ready for microsoft to drop some bombshells because i think they're coming in the next couple of weeks. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.